Before you head out, you should check the weather. Anything over 75 degrees is very bad for your ferret. Now, while these vest harnesses are okay, I would advise getting an H-type harness. Frolicking Ferrets has a few examples of them, and they seem to work better than these. These do okay, although they're, they seem to be easier to escape out of, so I would suggest an H-harness. You also want to be careful of any bugs or anything like that that might be able to hurt your ferrets, like fleas, ticks, snot, lovely jazz. So be careful of that. Now, as for actually putting the harness on the ferret, that can be a little bit of an interesting story. I would suggest taking it a bit slow, and what I did was I took them outside and put the harness on them and let them roam about. If you take them outside, make sure you have the leash on them so they can't get away. That way they kind of know that when they have the harness on, they can explore outside, rather than being, of course, stuck in here. You will most likely have a little bit of trouble at first with the harness. You might notice that this ring right here is missing. I've just got the leash itself attached to it rather than the metal ring. That's because it came off multiple times. You should be aware of ant beds, and don't let your ferrets get near anything like this, even though they'll try and fight you about it. Every now and then make sure they aren't shivering, as the wind might make them colder than you expect, and also make sure they aren't too hot in case the temperature changes. You might run into something called ferret slugging, or what I've started calling it, where the ferret will basically crawl on the ground. This seems pretty normal, but can mean your ferret is tired, or is just really enjoying this particular patch of grass. Be forewarned, you might have to carry your ferret home. Don't fear if your ferret's tail imitates a bottle brush, as that's natural when they are really excited or curious or scared. I think the most important thing to take from this video is to use your common sense and make sure your ferret is safe and well. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked the video, you know what to do as it helps it a great deal. And if you're new here and you want to see cute ferret videos each week to brighten your day, then click the subscribe button. I will see you guys next week.